Oh, what's going on everyone? Bows Phoenix here. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Today on March 10th, Ubisoft released a PC specific hotfix and a live update for all platforms. So to clarify, PC got a hotfix and an update, consoles just got an update. Anyway, in the update that all platforms received, they tweaked a few things here and there, and I wanted to go ahead and cover those for you guys today so you go into your weekend of medieval warfare a little more educated. So first things first, we're looking at a few more tweaks to how guard break works. With this new update, if you try to guard break at the same time as your opponent, the two of you will just bounce off of each other like a couple of drunk toddlers. Subsequent simultaneous guard breaks, meaning if you keep trying to do this, won't connect. This is a weird fix because I thought it was already the current behavior as of patch 1.03, but I guess it's been tweaked a little further. In all honesty though, you probably won't notice this happening too much because it's pretty rare for two players to guard break at the exact same time. It happens, and I've seen it, but not very often, so in short, I wouldn't rely on this mechanic to help you tech guard breaks. Moving on, everyone's favorite salt-inducing character, the Warlord, received a small fix to how his block stance works. This is the move where you press down on the guard stance and you turtle up, becoming immune to attacks from all directions at once. According to Ubisoft, players were abusing this mechanic as a means to replace all other defensive methods, i.e. actually blocking attacks by switching guard stances. In response to this, they've changed full block stance so that it's no longer instantaneous. When activated, there is now a 200 millisecond delay. The Valkyrie has received the same fix to her shield tackle full block and the Conqueror on top of that, but the delay for his is only 100 milliseconds. So with this one, the community asked for a Warlord nerf and well, we sort of got one in the form of a bug fix, but is it the right one? In my opinion, and from what I see on the forums, I don't feel like full block stance was that much of an issue. Sure, it could be annoying, but skill players can just guard break warlords out of this. The real issue, like his throw distance, where you can pretty much lose a fight by being parried once, then carried into hazards, is still a problem. On top of that, he's still got his magnetic spammable headbutt that when it connects, he basically gets a free stab in. Hopefully we'll see tweaks to these soon, but to be brutally honest with you guys, I'm not a huge proponent of nerfing in general. I think other characters in the game should be given the tools to respond to stuff like this. They should all be brought up to this level. I mean, I'm sure we've all seen what countless cycles of nerfs can do to a game. It gets pretty boring. Anyway, you guys will be super happy to know that they finally addressed the double hit, unparryable charged heavy attack with Shigoki. Hell fucking yes. People were abusing the crap out of this one and thank god they finally took a look at it. Previously, if you disabled lock on during a charged heavy attack as a Shigoki, it would count as two hits and you couldn't parry it. This was a bug pretty much since launch, and it made the Shigoki extremely annoying to fight. Lastly, for the update across all platforms, they've taken a look at Kensei as well. Before this update, Kensei was able to cancel a top-heavy unblockable back into another top-heavy unblockable. This is now fixed, and you can't do it anymore. I had seen people doing this from time to time, but never actually tried it myself. And now it looks like I won't get the chance because it's gone for good. I don't know how you guys feel, but succeeding in fights based on exploiting unintentional mechanics has never been the way to go for me. I like to play within the rules. It just makes victory a lot more rewarding, but that's my stance on it. Moving on though, let's take a look at the PC specific hotfix in which we've gotten a few quality of life things ironed out. Firstly, as requested by the community, the quit to desktop option after a match has been removed. Thank god, I accidentally clicked that thing so many times out of habit after matches when they first implemented that. I mean, now I'm good, but at first it was a pain. Nevertheless though, it's gone now. Next up, they've taken a look at the memory leak that's affected players since the last patch, which is an amazing fix. There have been so many people reporting crashes and other performance errors. Even the performance on my PC has been pretty abysmal, so this is great that they were able to address it. Lastly, on the PC side of things, they're claiming to have improved AFK detection. Now, through what means, I'm not sure, but this is pretty huge. This is a big step forward in cracking down on AFKers that use bot matches to farm or just refuse to participate in regular matches. So in all though, I don't think people are going to be truly happy until Ubisoft puts out a patch that pretty much literally says, hey, we've got dedicated servers, no more connection issues, and the game is perfectly balanced. But 
That being said, I think it's pretty awesome that they're addressing bugs like this. I think if we're patient, For Honor is going to actually one day become the game that we all know it can be. That's all for now though. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like down below, and if you're new here, get subscribed so that you never miss a video. Until next time, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next one, and as always, thank you so much for watching.